The history of chess goes back more than 1,000 years. The game originated in northern India in the 6th century AD and spread to Persia. When the Arabs conquered Persia, chess was taken up by the Muslim world and subsequently through the Moorish conquest of Spain spread to southern Europe. In Europe, the moves of the pieces changed in the 15th century. The modern game starts with these changes. In the second half of the 19th century, modern tournament play began. Chess clocks were first used in 1883, and the first World Chess Championship was held in 1886. The 20th century saw advances in chess theory and the establishment of the World Chess Federation. Chess engines, programs that play chess, and chess databases became important. At the beginning of the game, the chessboard is laid out so that each player has the white color square in the bottom right-hand side. The chess pieces are then arranged the same way each time. The second row, or rank, is filled with pawns. The rooks go in the corners and the knights next to them, followed by the bishops, and finally the queen, who always goes on her own matching color, white queen on white, black queen on black, and the king on the remaining square. The king is the most important piece, but is one of the weakest. The king can only move one square in any direction, up, down, to the sides, and diagonally. The king may never move himself into check, where he could be captured. When the king is attacked by another piece, this is called check. The queen is the most powerful piece. She can move in any one straight direction, forward, backward, sideways, or diagonally, as far as possible as long as she does not move through any of her own pieces. And, like with all pieces, if the queen captures an opponent's piece, her move is over. Notice how the white queen captures the black queen and then the black king is forced to move. The rook may move as far as it wants but only forward, backward, and to the sides. The bishop may move as far as it wants but only diagonally. Each bishop starts on one color, light or dark, and must always stay on that color. Knights move in a very different way from the other pieces, going two squares in one direction and then one more move at a 90 degree angle just like the shape of an L. Knights are the only pieces that can move over other pieces. Chess is a game beloved by many and played all over the world. It exercises your mind and your tactical skills and will remain one of the most famous games in existence. What is your favorite thing about the game of chess? Uh, I would say my favorite thing about the game of chess is the strategy that it takes to win the game. It's the strategy of yourself um, seeing what your opponent is trying to do and seeing what you want to do to your opponent. So you need to be able to see both sides of the game to be able to win. Okay. Um, when did you learn how to play chess and who taught you? Uh, I learned the game of chess probably when I was about seven or eight, and I learned it from my dad. Uh, we would play usually in the winter because that's you know when I couldn't go out and play, and so we would uh, just play the game of chess in the winter. And um, I actually learned on a board that was made by my dad, and the chess pieces were actually made by my grandma who worked at a place who. Uh, that made ceramics. Oh, nice. And I think I learned when I was about eight years old. Okay. And final question, if you could rate the game of chess on a scale of one to ten, what would you rate it? I would rate the game of chess at a seven or an eight. Uh, the game of chess is very uh, difficult to learn mm -hmm. and to learn to do well. Um, and it can be a very humbling game because if you play somebody who is better than you, um, it can be very difficult. And so, but I enjoy the game of chess. I enjoy the strategy, and uh, so I'd rate it probably about an eight. Okay. Thank you for your time. Thanks.